Jack, a tech specialist working on Earth after it has been ruined by war, often has clear dreams of a time before the conflict, a world he has never seen. In these dreams, he meets a woman who feels familiar, as if she is part of his memories. Jack wakes up in 2077 to his current life, where he and his partner Victoria, a communications officer, have the job of protecting machines that turn water into energy, which is crucial for human survival. With only two weeks left in their mission, Victoria looks forward to leaving for Titan, a moon of Saturn where the remaining human population now lives, while Jack feels a strong pull to stay on Earth. Years earlier, Earth had been wrecked when an alien group, known as Scavengers, destroyed the moon, leading to earthquakes and floods. Humans fought back with nuclear weapons, managing to stop the threat but making much of Earth unfit to live on. Survivors built a large space station, the TET, as a stopover for the journey to Titan. Jack and Victoria, among the few still on Earth, are assigned to defend the water processing machines from scavenger attacks. Their mission leader, Sally, often praises them as a good team. While Victoria stays focused on their mission, Jack's attachment to Earth is different from her wish to leave. During a regular patrol to check on the water machine, Victoria tells Jack that two protective drones have gone offline. Following Tet's instructions, Jack sets out to investigate. Flying through stormy weather, a lightning strike briefly throws his ship off course, but he quickly regains control. As he approaches his goal, Jack gets ready to fix the first drone, while Victoria watches for any signs of scavenger activity, lands his craft, and gathers his tools. As Jack fixes the drone, he knows someone is watching him. Over the comms, Victoria tells him that there are more scavengers around, but Jack keeps working, determined to fix the problem on his own. When he runs into trouble with the repair, he cleverly uses a piece of chewing gum to fix a broken connection. Just as the drone turns back on, he hears rustling and looks over to see a stray dog watching him from afar. Before the drone can see the dog as a threat, Jack shoes it away. After the drone verifies his ID, it scans the area before leaving, leaving Jack alone in the empty landscape. He stops to eat and talks with Victoria about how Earth will soon be nothing but dust and radiation once they leave. Her words stick with him as he decides to keep searching for the second downed drone, riding his bike across what used to be a lake. Following a weak signal, he arrives at a sinkhole, where he thinks the drone might have fallen. Jack radios Victoria about his plan to go down, but she warns him that TET, their base, will soon shut down, leaving him without support. Not discouraged, he ties a rope to his bike and starts to descend. As he goes down, scavengers watch him from a distance. When he reaches the bottom, he finds the source of the signal but realizes he's lost contact with mission control. He carefully walks across unstable ground, using a fallen beam to cross a gap. But instead of the drone, he only finds a lone beacon. The scavengers close in and capture him with ropes, but Jack breaks free, shooting through his bindings. A chase begins across the beam, with the scavengers following him. Jack jumps to safety just as the structure shifts. Trying to climb back up, he grabs onto his rope, which snaps from gunfire making him fall back into the sinkhole. Just then, Drone 166 arrives, scans the area, and engages the scavenger. It scans Jack, hesitates for a moment, then confirms his ID and leaves. Jack finds an old book nearby, which he takes with him before climbing out. When he reaches the top, he sees that his bike is gone. He has to walk back to the base. Once back, Jack showers and remembers a bright memory of New York City. Later, as he works on another drone repair, he looks at the book he found. But Victoria interrupts him, calling him to dinner. Jack gives her a small bouquet of flowers he picked, but she throws them away, reminding him they might be contaminated. Over dinner, Jack thinks aloud that the scavengers seemed more interested in capturing him than hurting him. Afterward, Victoria goes to their pool. Jack follows Victoria to the pool and stops outside before joining her. He suggests they hang out on the ground for a bit before heading to Titan. She pulls him into the water, and they kiss before diving underwater. While submerged, Jack sees a vision of a woman from his dreams, which leaves him confused. He wakes up in bed to a bright flash, lighting up the sky far away. Worried, he rushes outside to find out what caused the ex He discovers that one of the hydro rigs has blown up and thinks scavengers have turned a drone into a weapon. He picks up a strange signal going off planet, which leads him to a spot near the ruins of the Empire State Building. When he arrives, Jack feels a sense of deja vu as he sees things from his dreams. He hears a beeping sound nearby and notices different trinkets scattered around. He finds out that the beeping signal is using the building as an antenna, so he tells Victoria. 
She decodes the signal and finds a set of coordinates that don't seem to lead anywhere. Realizing it could be dangerous, Jack shuts down the signal and continues his patrol, moving closer to the radiation zone. Before going home, he checks the area for safety. During his rounds, Jack finds a valley and decides to land his ship near a house by a lake. He turns on the lights and puts the trinkets he found into the house's storage. Inspired by the view, he plays a Led Zeppelin record and steps outside, thinking about how much he will miss this place when he leaves. Feeling tired, Jack lies on the grass and falls asleep, slipping back into a dream about the woman from the Empire State Building. In the dream, he sees something unknown falling from the sky and wakes up suddenly. Victoria's voice comes, telling him where the object landed, at the beacon coordinates. She warns him to be careful, but Mission Control, led by Sally, tells Jack to stand down, saying drones are already on their way to check it out. Even with the order, Jack feels he must go see it himself. As he gets closer to the crash site, he realizes the object looks like a person from before the war. He lands and finds hibernation pods with five human survivors inside. Jack calls Victoria to share the news. When he opens the last pod, he is shocked to see the woman from his dreams inside. Before he can think about this, drones arrive, ready to destroy the pods. Jack tells them to back off, but Drone 166 locks onto him, confirming his ID and preparing to attack. Determined to protect the woman, Jack fires at the drone, forcing it to retreat. In a tense moment, Jack successfully lands his ship and drags the pod to safety. Victoria opens the door, urging him to get the med kit as they prepare to revive the survivors. She insists on reporting the incident to mission control, but Jack warns her about the drone threat. Suddenly, the pod opens and the woman wakes up. Julia falls into Jack's arms, calling his name, which deeply affects him. When she wakes up, she's confused and asks where she is. Victoria introduces herself and Jack, explaining that Julia was in a crash. Julia learns she's been asleep for 60 years. During lunch, Jack asks about her mission and the beacon. Julia wants to retrieve the flight recorder from her ship, but Victoria warns her that Earth has changed significantly due to an alien invasion. Most humans have relocated to Saturn or are preparing to leave on the TET. Julia laughs at the sight of Jack and Victoria holding hands, but Victoria becomes tense and protective. Later, Jack and Victoria discuss Julia privately. Victoria suggests Julia should leave, and Jack questions if Victoria remembers Julia from before. This upsets Victoria, who reminds him that a scavenger beacon caused Julia's crash. They realize scavengers are nearby, heightening their urgency. When Jack speaks with Julia again, she's worried. He tells her Victoria needs to report her presence to the TET, which will send someone for her. Julia insists on retrieving the flight recorder to understand what happened. Victoria warns Jack that she can't guarantee his safety. At the crash site, Julia uses the ship's camera to look around, feeling impacted by the hibernation pods. Jack expresses regret for not saving the others. Suddenly, Victoria sees something alarming on the monitors and tries to warn them, but Julia is too focused on finding the recording. When she retrieves it, chaos ensues as scavengers overpower Jack and take him away. The next day, Victoria receives the ship back and reports Jack is offline but withholds details. Worried, she requests a drone to investigate the last known location of Jack. Meanwhile, Jack wakes up in a bright room, confused and tied up. He hears someone reading from a book and meets a man named Beach, who lights a cigar. Beach reveals he has been watching Jack and claims they won't get any information from him since his memory is erased. A bright light shows a hidden building full of people, which confuses Jack even more. Beach explains that these people, like Jack, are humans hiding from drones that are meant to kill them. Beach asks Jack why he saved Julia from a drone, and Jack replies that anyone would have done the same. Sykes, another scavenger, warns Jack that a drone is following him. They free Jack from his restraints and help him stand up. Meanwhile, Victoria checks the drone data and confirms that Jack's signal has been found. Beach takes Jack to their base and reveals they shot down Julia's ship to steal its reactor. He explains that they can use this reactor, along with fuel from the stolen drones, to make a nuclear weapon. Only Jack can reprogram the drone to deliver the weapon. But that same drone is currently tracking him, putting everyone in danger. Beach insists that Jack must change the drone's target to the TET's core to end the war. Jack refuses, and Sykes tries to shoot him to force him to cooperate. The situation gets worse when Julia is brought in as a threat. The scavengers threaten Jack with her life. Suddenly, an alarm goes off, signaling the arrival of a drone. 
The drone scans the area, causing chaos as the scavengers try to disable it. Several people are killed before Sykes manages to destroy the drone. Victoria, watching from mission control, confirms the drone is down and calls for backup. Jack stays firm in his refusal to help Beach. Realizing how serious things are, the scavengers decide to let Jack and Julia go. Before they leave, Beach hints that Jack might find important truths in a radiation zone. Jack and Julia return to the Empire State Building. Jack sends a message to Victoria, telling her he is alive, which leads her to call off the other drones. A rescue ship is sent to pick them up. While they wait, Jack asks Julia about her true identity. She explains that she was on a research mission to Titan, but was reassigned to look into the TET, an alien object. In a shocking twist, Julia claims to be Jack's wife and says he is not who he thinks he is. She recalls their proposal moment at their current location, but Jack struggles to remember it, leaving him confused. When the rescue ship arrives, Victoria sees Jack and Julia together, making her uneasy. Once back home, Victoria blocks their entry, insisting they must. Jack argues that Julia is his wife, but Victoria is not convinced. She contacts the TET about Julia, ignoring Jack's protest. Suddenly, a drone in the house turns on and targets them. Jack tells Julia to escape, but she hesitates. The drone moves closer, ready to attack, but Julia quickly destroys it, showing her bravery. In a hurry, Jack contacts the TET, which wants to bring him and Julia in for a new mission. Knowing they are in danger, Jack and Julia run away as the TET sends drones to catch them. As the chase heats up, Jack decides to go into a storm, thinking that the lightning might hide them for a bit. He slows down the drones chasing them, but they quickly get back on track. Jack and his team hide behind a waterfall to stay out of sight, but the drones keep looking for them. Jack takes action by attacking two of the drones, taking them down fast. However, the last drone is tougher and almost crashes into their ship. Using his flying skill, Jack navigates through the storm and destroys the final drone. Just when they feel safe, Drone 166 turns back on and drives them into a dangerous radiation zone causing a serious crash. Jack pulls the escape lever to get out of the ship. Now stuck in the radiation zone, Jack hears another drone and goes to check it out. He sees a similar ship land and is shocked to see another version of himself called Jack 52 come out. Jack 52 tells Jack 49, the original Jack, to put down his weapon. Julie arrives and triggers memories in Jack 52, reminding him of their past together. The two Jacks struggle for control over their weapons, with Jack 49 eventually winning. Just then, Drone 166 powers back up, but Jack 49 quickly shuts it down, stopping any more threats. Noticing that Julia is hurt, Jack carries her to safety and secures Jack 52 before leaving in his ship. When he gets home, Jack sees that it looks like his old life. He looks for a first aid kit and treats Julia's wounds. He then meets Victoria 52, who is initially cautious of him. Jack convinces her that he is her Jack, but she hesitates to go with him. After treating Julia, Jack takes her to his ship, and they fly to his lakeside home. When Julia wakes up, fully healed, she explores and finds one of Jack's favorite records, which she plays. They share a quiet moment outside, where Jack admits that he isn't the original version of himself, but still loves her. Julia reminds him that his memories make up who he is, which brings them closer. The next morning, Jack decides to help Beach with their mission. Julie insists on joining, and they arrive at the scavenger's hideout. Beach is happy to have their help. Meanwhile, the TET, the main enemy, reviews footage of Jack's last fight and sends three drones to find them. As Jack gets the drone ready for their mission, Beach talks about the destruction of the moon and the problems humanity faces. He explains that the TET invaded Earth with soldiers that look like Jack Harper. Beach explains the situation with the TET, a powerful machine that has been erasing people's memories, like Jack's, and training them only for fighting. Beach notices Jack's small acts of kindness, like saving Julia, which gives him hope that Jack might be different from others affected by the TET. To resist the TET, Jack activates a drone, and Beach thinks that the TET will soon figure out their plan. Knowing the risks, they want to stop the TET's control. Their plan hits a snag when three TET drones attack their hideout. During the fight, the scavengers try to defend themselves but struggle. Beach manages to destroy one drone but gets hurt, causing them to lose a drone carrying a nuclear weapon. Jack and his friend Sykes work together to take out the remaining drones, but they can't achieve their main goal of destroying the Tet. In a new plan, Julia suggests 
that since the Tiet is looking for her, Jack can carry her in a hibernation pod, along with the nuclear weapon. They share a goodbye in front of a painting that reminds them of home. Jack places Julia in the pod, telling her to remember their past before sealing it. Jack takes the pod to his ship and heads towards the TET. While flying, he listens to recordings that remind him of his old missions and crew, including his friends Sally and Victoria. When he reaches the TET, Jack tells them he has a survivor to bring in, recalling a time he saved Victoria by ejecting a hibernation mod. As Jack enters the TET, drones try to stop him, but he convinces them to let him in. Inside, he sees many clones of himself and Victoria, made by the TET's experiments. When Jack opens the pod, he finds Beach inside instead of Julia, who unexpectedly wakes up at the lakeside house, confused but safe. At the same time, the TET finds the remaining survivors hiding. In a final act of defiance, Jack activates the nuclear weapon with Beach. The explosion destroys the TET and its drones. Sykes and Julia watch the blast, feeling a mix of hope and disbelief. Three years later, Julia has built a peaceful life at the lakeside house with her daughter, far from past troubles. One day, while enjoying the calm surroundings, the remaining humans arrive, including Jack. He reunites with his family, 